Risk management is defined as controlling financial and personal injury losses from sudden, unforeseen, unusual accidents, and intentional torts. The risk management process is a tool for decreasing liability because it not only decreases legal liability, but also delivers quality programs and services to guests. Thoreau plans include both what to do to control risks, as well as a rationale for why the risk management steps are followed. The risk I encountered on Penn State's campus is public liability caused by negligence, particularly with the Beaver Stadium on a game day. I found that the stadium for the whiteout game versus Michigan was over capacity by approximately 4,100 people. The stadium was largely overcrowded, so much so that the stairways between rows of seating were packed to the brim with spectators watching in makeshift standing areas. Should there have been an emergency, this certainly would have proved to be hazardous as there was not enough space to safely exit the section, let alone the stadium as a whole. In the event of a fire or active attacker, many guests of the stadium in this case would have extreme difficulty finding a feasible exit. It can be inferred that due to the issues with overcrowding, there very well may have been possibility for, tra for trampling scenarios and suffocation due to panicked patrons running for the exits. An example of such a situation can be seen from the Hillsborough Stadium disaster in 1989, in which a British football match saw 3,000 people funnel into a standing room only area to fit 1,600 people. As a result, 162 patrons were hospitalized with injuries and 96 people died. The trial for this incident is ongoing, as South Yorkshire Police Supervisor David Duckenfield, who was in charge of public safety for this event, is being tried for manslaughter due to gross negligence. The party at fault in this case would be Beaver Stadium, in particular the ticket office, for overselling the stadium and, per and permitting more people to enter the stadium than the stadium should physically allow for. If I were the manager of Beaver Stadium, I would take certain steps to carry out a proper risk management analysis process. First, I would look at past accident reports and legal precedent rulings to identify risk as it relates to sporting event stadiums and arenas. Specifically, I would look at accident reports for Beaver Stadium and surrounding Lincoln Financial Field and Heinz Field in Philadelphia and Pittsburgh as reference points due to the similarities in each stadium. Then, I would go to local politicians and judges' offices to discuss legal precedent on the matter and determine whether Beaver Stadium is truly putting people at risk in the situation. Secondly, I would evaluate risk by determining the severity of the problem and considering how often it could happen. In this case, the severity of the risk would be of extreme proportions, given that many people could be seriously injured or worse, and given the financial ramifications Penn State would have to face if such a situation were to occur. The frequency is realistically not high, because of the safety and security precautions put in place to protect guests. However, it is always better to be safe than sorry, and this case is no different. Which brings me to my next point. I would try to reduce or eliminate risk altogether as part of the risk treatment strategy. In this case, that would be ensuring that the stadium does not go over capacity on any given game day. This may be easier said than done, but the safety of the patrons comes first. Yes, this means that the stadium will be seeing 4,100 less tickets sold and a decrease in revenue as a result. However, I believe that following proper safety protocol and capacity guidelines for the stadium will be beneficial in the long run of keeping guests safe. In my risk implementation strategy, I would hire a risk management committee and train all ticket sales and ticket taker staff to keep track of the amount of people entering the stadium. If all parties in charge of overseeing entrance to the stadium are trained and informed on capacity requirements and guidelines, then it should eliminate risk of public liability as a result of negligence due to overcrowding and overselling of the stadium.